Hello friends, this is Susanna from Active Vegetarian and today I have a video for you. It's a tutorial to show you how to master a perfect push-up. Push-ups are an amazing exercise and we tend to include it into our workouts that we post online quite often. One of the questions we get asked, especially for a lot of our female clients, is how to master push-ups, how to get better at push-ups. So today we are gonna go over some of the basic points, key points to make sure that you're doing them properly and that you're progressing so you can get stronger. I believe that push-ups are an exercise that everybody should include into their workouts just because there's so many different benefits to it. One of them is that it's a body weight exercise so you can really do it anywhere at any time. There's tons of different variations of push-ups so you can never get bored. And the third reason is that it's a full body exercise if done properly. So let's go over those points right now to make sure that you're doing them well. Let's start with the hands. Point number one is making sure that your hands are shoulder width apart. So when you look down, they should be directly underneath your shoulders. Second thing, let's look at our fingers to make sure that we point them straight forward. Often you see people turning the hands out to the side and that usually indicates that their wrist flexibility is pretty bad. And in that case, you really wanna start to work on your wrist flexibility and we have some videos on activevegetarian.com to show you how to do it. But for a proper push-up, let's try to set the fingers straight forward. If you have a hard time with that, you can slightly move them out to the side. Now the second point we are gonna look at is our elbows. We want to make sure that the elbows are traveling behind us, not out to the side. And the way we are gonna do it is to roll the shoulder blades back and down and make sure the elbow pit points straight in front of us. And then when we are moving, the elbows are just touching the side of our body. And we want to make sure that while we are doing this, the fingers are not going out to the side. So once again, fingers forward, shoulder blades roll back, elbows out to the side of the body. Point number three is going to be our shoulders. And with that, we want to look at the alignment. And the alignment should be shoulders, elbow, and wrist, all in a nice straight line, which means that you're not pushing your body back like so or coming too much forward. So I wanna make sure that everything is aligned. And when I come down, I wanna press into the ground to push myself back up, meaning that you're moving your body in a nice straight line. Now, if you're more advanced and if you get stronger at push-ups, you can start to play around with bringing the shoulders slightly in front of the wrist. So this will definitely be a more challenging variation of a push-up coming slightly forward, you still want to make sure that you're keeping that alignment with your hands and still bringing your elbows behind you. But what this variation of a push-up will do for you, you're going to start to get stronger for some of the more advanced exercises that come after push-up like planche or perhaps even handstand. Next thing we're going to look at is our head, so the position of our head. We want to slightly tuck the chin down and look down and a little bit ahead of you. So I would say pick a spot on the floor slightly ahead of you. Keep your eyes there. So again, when you're doing the push-up, you're looking slightly ahead of you. What often happens is people put their head up and look up and that totally changes the way they're doing their push-up or even worse, they look down and the push-up looks something like this. So definitely we want to avoid that. Last thing we're gonna look at is the rest of our body. Remember at the beginning I said that push-up is a full body exercise. And in order to keep it a full body exercise, we wanna make sure that we are engaging our legs and we are engaging our core. So again, I'm gonna get into my plank. I'm gonna check on those hands, making sure the fingers are pointing forward, that the elbows are going back. My head is in a nice straight line and I'm going to start to engage my lower body. So I'm gonna squeeze my inner thighs together, squeeze my butt together, and I'm gonna press my belly button into the spine. And already I can feel how my lower body is gonna help me out with this push-up. So my hands, my arms, don't have to do all the work on their own. So by squeezing everything, the push-up immediately becomes an easier exercise and I'm making sure that I'm engaging my full body, not just my arms and my chest. All right, so those are all the basic points for doing a proper push-up. 
However, I understand that at the beginning, this will be probably quite challenging for some of you. There's some variations you can do in order to build up that strength so eventually you can master a full push-up. Let's start with the most basic one and that's doing a push-up off of your knees. So in this case you want to set the knees slightly behind you so if you are in this position on all fours you're gonna walk the knees back. You're gonna bring the knees together and I encourage you to try to keep all those points I just mentioned. So look at your hands, make sure they're positioned shoulder width apart, point the elbows behind you, line up your shoulders with your wrist, keep your head ahead of you, so chin slightly tucked in, squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze the butt, and keep that alignment going. Okay, so this would be a knee variation, kneeling variation of a push-up. Definitely a good base to start with. But I do want to show you one more variation where you will probably build your strength just a little bit faster. All right, so for this variation, you're going to find an elevated surface. A table is good, a bench is good, sometimes you can use chair. I'm just going to use this ledge here. Now keep in mind that the higher you go, the easier it will be. So I'm going to place my hands again under the shoulders. I'm going to make sure my fingers are spread. I'm going to line up my wrist and my shoulder and my elbow all in a straight line. I'm just gonna squeeze that lower body and from here, I'm gonna practice my push-ups. All right, that's it for today's video. We hope that you found this video helpful, this tutorial helpful. I would suggest that you go out there and start to practice those push-ups now. You can practice pretty much every single day. Just don't push yourself all the way to your exertion rate. Just see what you can do. Maybe try with four or five push-ups and every day add one more push-ups until it becomes a stronger exercise for you. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.